today's video is going to be on the element of art of space or depicting three dimensional objects on a two dimensional surface using the conventions of perspective for today's worksheet. So today we are going to need, you definitely will need a pencil, preferably an H pencil because this is going to be light underdrawings. You're going to need an eraser to erase any stray marks. You'll need a ruler or a straight edge of some sort. And then you will need some sort of colored material because you'll need to label your horizon lines and your vanishing points in color coding. And I am today using pens, colored pens. You can use your colored pencils though if you prefer. I just prefer pens because they're a little bit less smudgy and we will be working with rulers. Now, when we are discussing conventions of how to depict three dimensional space, what we're really discussing is how to draw parallel lines. So we accept that in reality, these cubes have one, two, three series of parallel lines that represent the three dimensions of space. However, when we are looking at the cube, what appears to our eye and what we must represent on paper is the fact that these lines do not appear to be parallel, but actually do appear to go back deep towards a vanishing point in space. Those are vanishing points and then also horizon lines connected to the apparently straight horizon of the earth are ways in which architects have been rendering space since the Renaissance age. So we're going to start off with a couple series of ways to draw in perspective. Each one is going to approximate the conventions of depicting space in the, the 3D world on a 2D plane in series of um, increasing complexity and increasing approximation to what's really happening while in reality diverging more and more and more from where we start with all parallel lines to having actually no sets of parallel lines once we get to three point perspective. So first thing that we are going to start with is Drawing in oblique perspective, this is probably the way that you doodled a cube back when you were in elementary school. And this is all series of parallel lines drawing a cube. I'm going to start off by drawing as if the cube was completely transparent in my graphite pencil. And then I will go over the lines that would appear if the cube was completely opaque. I'm going to go over those with a colored pen. So what I have right here is a box drawn in oblique perspective, meaning that there are these sets of parallel lines in every dimension, but it is an approximation of 3D space. It's not the most faithful rendering of 3D space on a 2D surface. And I have left my pencil under drawings there just to give reference to how I constructed the piece. And I did decide to label the parallel lines in a very faint yellow and then the outline of the box in blue, which I will carry over to here. First thing I want to do for one point perspective is I'm going to draw and label my horizon line and my vanishing point. I'm going to choose a vanishing point slightly to the side and I'm also going to move my horizon line up so that it's as if I am looking down at my cube when we draw it. <music> So now that we've added one vanishing point, we're going to lose one set of parallel lines because the lines that we're going backwards in the cube 
are now going to converge towards a vanishing point. So it's going to start to look more realistic and less flat. First thing we'll do is we'll draw the face of the cube. The face will still retain its parallel lines because the only thing that is going towards a vanishing point is that backwards third dimension. And that one will create once we connect the corners of our first square to do the back parts of the cube. <laughs> to connect all of my corners to my vanishing point. Now I'm going to choose the back of my box. So this is if we are looking down the top of the cube. Now I'm going to outline my box right here and then I'm going to do my two sets of parallel lines. So already our box is starting to look more dimensional going back into space. We're going to increase that this time. Again, we'll draw a horizon line and a vanishing point, but this time we're going to have two vanishing points. I'm going to put one on either end, and this time we'll be going above our horizon line, so we're looking from the bottom towards our box, which will now only have one series of parallel lines. That will be its vertical lines. All other lines will converge toward those vanishing points. <laughs> my two series of vanishing points right here. I'm going to go ahead and lay in my vertical lines. I'll start with the vertical corner of the box that will be facing us the closest and then I'm going to start connecting those to my vanishing points. <laughs> choose the back sides of the box and then connect those to their opposite. a little bit exaggerated is seen right here as if you are looking at a box down from below and now we only have one series of parallel lines left and that's only our vertical lines which are getting ready to go away themselves because we are now going to do a horizon line with two vanishing points and then a third one on the Z axis down below that is going to act as our final vanishing point to create a true representation of three dimensional space on a two dimensional plane. <music> depiction we're going to have one line of our cube that will come down vertically now the other lines that would normally be parallel to it rather than coming down straight down will now start to converge toward that vanishing point the first thing we have to do is establish that first vertices up here <music> From that 
set vertices, I'm going to go ahead and connect to my vanishing points from the top point. rather than going parallel, will now connect to my vanishing point. And now we're going to connect to those vanishing points as well. So just connecting each corner to its opposite vanishing point now. And this gives us our full cube, which I will now outline. Point perspective zero series of parallel lines. And then for today's worksheet, all you gotta do is clean up any stray marks that might happen on the paper with any eraser that you have handy. Mm -hmm.